morning children i hope you are all doing great and i hope you have enjoyed all the past few sessions with us at least we have enjoyed being with you through this virtual sunday school sessions so children before we do anything what is it that we do yes we pray so let's join our hands close our eyes and bow down our heads our heavenly father thank you for showing us this beautiful sunday morning thank you for protecting us throughout the night and the past week lord thank you so much for being here with us we invite you into this room into our homes today lord we pray that you help us to listen help us to obey and help us to receive your word in jesus name we pray amen okay children now is the time for the scripture reading so quickly open your bibles and turn to psalm 46 let me read it for you god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble therefore will not we fear though the earth be moved and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea though the waters thereof roar and be troubled though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof there is a river the streams thereof shall make glad the city of god the holy place of the tabernacle of the most high god is in the midst of her she shall not be moved God shall help her and that right early the heathen raged the kingdoms were moved he uttered his voice the earth melted the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our refuge come behold the works of the lord what desolations he had made in the earth he make it was to cease unto the end of the earth he breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder he burneth the chariot in the fire be still and know that i am god I'll be exalted among the heathen I'll be exalted in the earth The Lord of hosts is with us the God of Jacob is our refuge God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble Yes kids a very simple definition of refuge is a safe place God is our safe place when we need protection from something and when we know God is our refuge it helps us to trust him more freely and so we need not fear anything because there is no situation that is out of god's control so the best place to be always is right with him okay now children are we all ready for some singing of praise and worship okay so jump out of your seats call everybody who is there at your home and let us join aaron bhaiya in singing praise and worship over to you aaron Hi guys, good to see you guys once again in this time of praise and worship. Wherever you are, sing, clap, jump around, dance to the Lord and let's enjoy this time of praise and worship. So the first song is going to be open the eyes of my heart, Lord.
let's go to this.
Praise God on our heads. And give God the glory and thanks for His faithfulness. for those lovely songs. I hope you all have enjoyed singing those with us. I definitely did. Moving on to our next session, children. Let's invite Elvis Uncle for his message. Over to you, Elvis. Children, I welcome one and all for this wonderful Sunday which God has given us. We have entered into a new month. What a great joy. It is for us to see a new beginning of a new month. I hope everything will get over soon and we will be back to our churches and to meet, uh, meet each one of us, to meet with each other face to face. All right, so today let's go to the Bible study. Let's not take too much of a time. So today we are going to be uh, focusing, we're going to be doing a visual learning today. So you're not going to be seeing me. So um, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you, uh, you know, probably a presentation and then we will focus on what we're learning today. So today we are going to be talking about, you know, what or who is your foundation? What or who is your foundation? So as we all know, in Matthew chapter 7, 24, it says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like, a wise man who built his house on the rock. I hope you know the familiar song which we sing. You know, a wise man builds a house upon the rock. The wise man builds the house upon the rock. The wise man builds a house upon a rock. And the rain came tumbling down. I do, I, do you remember that song? So, you know, if you know that song, just keep that in mind. So you will remember the Bible verse. All right, so we need to first see, you know, what is a foundation, all right? So I think we have a lot of children who are at a very beginner stage. So I, I was trying to put this across and, you know, trying to make this presentation. I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. Foundation, it means it's, it's a base or a foot, the lowest 
load you know if you look at a building if you take a house wherever you are staying normally before they build a house they lay a foundation so normally a foundation goes about two feet down and two feet wide sometimes six feet and the foundation is called it, it is known to be a very strong uh, base or a foot because it's going to be bearing the weight of the building right so foundation means it's a base a foot or probably you can take it as uh, the lowest load bearing a part of a building so everyone every life of ours need to have a foundation as well right so let us look at some of the foundations that we are going to be talking about so let's look at some worldly foundation okay so um, now if you look at the worldly foundation if you look at the first picture it is talking about a lot of coins so which is talking about wealth right people in the world focus and think a lot about uh, these foundations which we are seeing here one can be wealth two if you look at it a lot of money right and three maybe uh, it might be a dream job a career a business uh, you know an aspiration where someone is going after a uh, passion you know it can be one of the foundation that they want to lay their minds on for some people it's partying right partying over the weekend partying over the week and for some people it is entertainment like you know right now we see a lot of people on the internet and uh, you know we see them uh, on youtube netflix prime video i'm sure you're familiar with all these uh, terms because young children uh, small children kids you like and love to see cartoons right cartoons and a lot of disney characters and all that so and some people for some people maybe it is shopping right so as we all understand we need all this foundation we need to have this but it is not you know no harm in having these but then you know we need to know where to set our priorities we need to draw the line we need to where to we need to know where to draw the line so colossian chapter 3 verse 2 it says set your minds on things above and not on earthly things what it says set your minds on things above and not on earthly things it doesn't say set your minds on things above and also on earthly things no our priority should be to set our minds on things of the heaven of not not of the world but of uh, our higher calling what we are called for what has god created us for all right so these are some of the worldly foundation now let us focus let us see what some what are some of the kids foundations today you now what are what what are kids doing most most of these days okay they take time to play with friends you see the first slide you know the first picture then uh, they are uh, they like their friends they want to play with them some are like to study if you see in the third slide third picture it, it's talking about uh, children love to study some children some children like to talk over the phone with their friends some children love to you know listen to music you know there can be two kinds of music one would be you're listening to gospel songs you know christian music and the other one would be secular non christian music so we need to again be careful about what we are listening to because you know when we uh, a lot of things are happening uh, you know where the music the lyrics of the songs which is very important which we need to understand i would uh, recommend and suggest parents to always listen uh, carefully to see the lyrics of what your children might be hearing so that is also very important so uh, for for some children it is watching tv right so are these all uh, good can we do all this yes you can but as i said be it for parents be it for adults be it for teens be it for children our first and first and foremost priority should be jesus we need to spend time with god first we need to give the first ah uh, the you know uh, we need to give first uh, part of our 24 hours uh, to jesus first when we get up in the morning that's a good thing to do and jesus jesus should be your solid rock on which you should stand he should be our rock our refuge and ever present help in times of trouble so these are some of the kids foundation these are some of the things which ki- kids do normally 
these days and now i'm going to come to a very important thing we don't have much time you know which we need to be very careful about you know now we are going to look at what is most dangerous thing which is called the trapped foundation so we all know we all are aware of www right what does it mean world wide web if you don't know it is called world wide web what does a web mean it means a net you know and which indeed if you look at the meaning of it it means a trap right so we all know before even they came out with these you know it is a very dangerous thing to be in a place where we should not be spending a lot of time so that is called the internet so now what has happened you know a very major prior point which is raising concern now is kids during lockdown have been addicted now to the web you know to gadgets to android phones you know to watching tv youtube prior you know movies netflix you know so as i mentioned we need to know how to balance our time we need to know how to balance our life so what you sow is what you are going to reap right so what will happen if we are going to be doing this for a long time it's going to cause depression isolation you will start fearing dishonesty and much more so this will uh, you know result in your head pain you might have a head pain you might not get sleep you will might have eyesight problems poor nutrition poor hygiene weight loss and much more so i would personally it is my earnest prayer that no one should be trapped in this particular thing called internet all right all these technology is good for good things use it for good things but if you're going to dig deep into it you are going to be caught because there is something called as dark web out there so please be very careful so just a few things you know i wanted to share some few clips you know few slides on what does this mean so if you look at a teen's uh, phone or probably you know uh, the messages last seen 8 8 seconds ago on whatsapp and if you look at you know sometimes when you ask children when you read the bible last maybe you would you would say 8 days ago or 8 months ago or a week ago so we always need to spend time in god's word every day so now here you see you know more than uh, people uh, kids who want to uh, play outside in the swimming pool or water you know they take diversion and go to internet right or maybe nowadays what happens is you have to tell kids to drink water they don't even like to drink water they you know they they are busy watching internets you know internet and movies and things like that and then we see um someone's asking hi sweety how was your school today yeah dad i'm fine you can read it on my blog you know they don't have time to talk to parents they don't have time to talk to families and relatives then we say you know different languages they speak nowadays kids which very really difficult to understand you know r o t f l l o l l o l a s a p o m y o m g you know all these kind of you know as if it's new breed of tongues uh, you know people are uh, speaking in these languages so you know everything has changed nowadays so we need to be careful on what we are trying to speak as well so now coming what does the bible say on foundation so we look at some of the scriptures here 1 corinthians chapter 3 verse 1 for no one no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid that is jesus christ so who is our foundation it has to be jesus christ why don't you shout with me who has to be our foundation it has to be jesus christ all right so ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 says having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets christ jesus himself being the cornerstone 1 peter 2 6 and then we have matthew chapter 7 verse 24 which talks about the foundation and who needs to be our foundation as well okay so now who and what is our foundation who needs to be our foundation the triune god the father son and the holy spirit what needs to be our foundation the word of god which is the bible b i b l e right that's the book for me i'm standing on the word of god b i b l e 
A true foundation is based on incorruptible material that will stand the test of time. All right, we should always not build our lives on worldly temptations, phones, materialism, gadgets, or anything that the moth and rust can destroy. Our eyes should be fixed above on things above, on things on God. Focus on things which is related to God and the kingdom of God. We should be children who will build our house upon the rock where it will not be destroyed. No matter what comes, no matter what kind of disaster, pandemic or whatever coronavirus comes, we will not be shaken because we are standing on the promises. We are standing on the word of God. We are obeying the word of God. We are God's chosen ones and we should live our lives according to the word and obey his word and put them into action. Right? This is something which we need to do. As a mustard seed, you know, we need to have that kind of faith. You know, as God's children, as how instantly, uh, you know, the disciples also obeyed Jesus, we also need to obey him and follow him. All right, let's make a prayer before we close. Pray after me. Dear Jesus, we thank you for helping us learn on whom we need to set our foundations on. Thank you, Jesus, that you will help us in this process. Forgive us all our sins and help us to draw closer to you day by day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, fantastic. Children, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the week. God bless you. Enjoy this month. To be happy in Jesus throughout your life, we got to trust and obey. There is no other way. We need to trust and obey. Have a blessed week. God bless you all. Reminding us that when we have God as our foundation, we have nothing to fear but trust Him alone. He will carry us through every storm in our life, for nothing is too big for our God. Now, children, I like to invite Adhuvan and Anantan. Let's see what they have in store for us. Over to you guys.
is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees, my God made the seas, my God made the elephants too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Chat. For you. Chat. This journey that don't look it back But Jesus will lead us We are on the right track Oh, oh Wide open spaces with wide open eyes Look in the head for the next bit surprise Oh, oh We are off on this We will no look it back Faithfulness, self-control, 
against such thing there no law galatians 5 So you could hold me But this child away strong in the faith Lord you are the refuge that I can't wait to get to cuz I can't let it day go can't let it day go by without thanking you for the joy that you bring to my life and Seems to rain on my dreams. It's not a big, not a big deal. Let it wash all the bugs off my windshield. 'Cause you're showing me that in you I'm free, and you're still the refuge that I've just got to get to. So I won't let a day go, won't let a day go by. So put the drop top down, turn it up. I'm ready to fly. And blessing us with such an amazing talent god bless you all of you now children we have rohan who would like to share a message with us over to you jesus answered i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me john chapter 14 verse 6 man's primal communion with god in eden was broken by his fall henceforth Humanity became as an islet in mid-ocean without material for bridge or boat and the eternal word became flesh in order to himself become the causeway which would reconnect man and the continent god Jesus is the only way and there is no other way to heaven no other way to god Jesus said that he came to fulfill the law of god He is the truth, true bread, true tabernacle, and the true light. He is the truth Himself. Its eternal embodiment, its source, means and end. All things have been created through Him and for Him. He is the principle and source of life. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He gave His life. for our sins and rose from the dead to give us eternal life i am the way the truth and the life without the way there is no going without the truth there is no knowing 
and without the life there is no living no man commit to the father except by jesus friends it is obtained by obeying in his word by confessing our sins to jesus as our lord and god by following his command to tell others the truth about sin righteousness and judgment thank you thank you rohan for this lovely message god bless you now children with this we have come to an end of yet another amazing session i hope you had a great time playing and worshiping with us let's gather all our family members let's join our hands close our eyes and pray dear heavenly father as we come to the end of our session we want to give honor to you thank you lord for all the marvelous things you have done today and thank you for what has been accomplished today thank you for choosing us lord to spread your word on earth and for making us special we are privileged that you would ask us to be your disciples lord we are so thankful that you have taught us how to listen to you and how to obey you please help us to trust you lord bless us and our families let your hand of protection be on us throughout the rest of the week bless each of us and keep us safe until we are able to gather together again i ask this in the name of jesus christ our lord amen kids do spend good amount of time with your loved ones keep yourself involved in doing lot of creative work and do keep sharing your videos with us i would like to thank all the sunday school teachers aaron your parents and especially you all for putting in so much of efforts for this session and before i finally close i would really like to take this as an opportunity to thank you all who are showing tremendous amount of patience and understanding during this time of lockdown we understand kids that during your vacation time it is difficult to get locked down at home be patient spend good time with your loved ones stay home stay safe and do take care of yourself until we meet again bye bye